I've been everywhere in the world. Nothing equals coming back to Trinidad and Tobago. It's home, always has been, always will be. So where I find my peace, it's where I find my grounding. The sights, the smells, the sounds that are uniquely Trinbagonian. The heat that says you're back in the Caribbean. The welcoming voices. Trinidad and Tobago is and always will be home for me. In Trinidad and Tobago, we know we're a small island nation, but we've always played bigger than who we are. In Trinidad and Tobago, we always play big. We are the Trinidad and Tobago National Stadium, or the Hazy Crawford Stadium, to give it its full and proper name. But it means a little bit more than that to me. It's coming back to the stadium invokes a sense of nostalgia. So many of my own childhood dreams took shape and happened here. A lot of my own history, as much as Trinidad and Tobago's own footballing and sporting history, was made right here. I suffered the heartbreak as a fan in 1989 in seeing Trinidad and Tobago stumble right here at the final hurdle in trying to qualify for the work of 1990. It's the national teams of the USA versus Trinidad and Tobago. Time running out, precious seconds left. Hold on and go to Italy, and they do! The USA has realized the dream. They will qualify for the World Cup in 1990. Because long before we put on the red, white, and black of Trinidad and Tobago, we were fans. My last appearance for, for Trinidad and Tobago here in Trinidad and Tobago against Mexico to secure our berth for the 2006 uh, World Cup playoffs. And to stop and he scores! Goal number two! And puts the whistle in, but there it is! The final whistle! With and Tobago will advance to the playoffs. We then played Bahrain and while I didn't take the field, I, I had a good seat to witness our own history in the making. Corner kick, no Russell Latterby yet, as of yet. It's a decent delivery, the keeper came, didn't get there! And TNT, they've done it! They've scored the goal! The final whistle has blown! After 16 years of sheer agony, Trinidad and Tobago have made it to the promised land. They will be in Germany 2006. Country just stopped. Wherever you were, if you were driving, you stopped right in the middle of the road, came out of your car, everybody was celebrating together. Trinidad and Tobago was in, in a state of euphoria that I don't think we'd experienced before. Emotion just got the better of everyone. Because we all understood what that moment meant. Not just to us, but we understood what that moment meant to Trinidad and Tobago, to Trinidad and Tobago football, to our sport on that day back in November 2005, felt special. It felt special to be a part of, it felt special to witness as a football player, as a fan, as a Trinbegonian. In Trinidad and Tobago, we have a saying, God is a Trinbegonian. And that is in no way an arrogant boast. It speaks to who we are. It speaks to our 1.3 million people and how we continue to punch above our weights. Hazy Crawford, as we sit in the Hazy Crawford Stadium, as being the first West Indian to win 100 meter gold. Penny Kamizion, the first Miss Universe of Color. Stokely Carmichael, Darkest Howe. Peter Minchel, Brian Lara, Dwight Yaw, the Mighty Sparrow, Kitchener, David Rudder. Trinbegonians have shaped and defined art, culture, sport, social progress on all four corners of the planet. That's not a boast. In Trinidad and Tobago, we aren't passive about a lot. We find ways to express ourselves in every single thing we do. Whether we're talking about our food and our cuisine, how we party, how we celebrate, 
how we express our identity through sport. We leave a little bit of ourselves in every single thing. And as a people, we're colorful. We're expressive. As kids, we all play this game. We all play football. We fell in love with this game, playing with our friends, in our communities, on the streets, in the parks, on the beaches. We just need a ball, a couple of friends, and a way to express ourselves. There's something about being Trinbegonian that touches each of us, that makes us unique, that makes us proud, that makes us different, that makes us uplift each other. There's an old saying, it takes a village. Trinbegonians see themselves as that village for each other whenever we need it. That's how I feel. That's my experience of Trinbegonian.